All right, here we are, episode 18 of Giants D Trades in Five. I am Clay. I am Shane. And I am Scott. Man, we've really pared down those intros over the last couple episodes. <laughs> well, Good well, we job. Have to, I have to do all this editing, man. So I gotta uh I gotta help myself here, being selfish. Um, no, so Jerry Judy tonight is who we're talking about. I don't know about you, but there's always been a lot of Jerry Judy chatter this year. Every time I get a trade offer, I swear it's them trying to get Jerry Judy too cheap for me. Um, but no, we're going to talk about him tonight. He's going to be uh, coming back this week. So Shane, let's start with you. What are your uh, general thoughts? And then we'll get into some trades. General thoughts. Uh, Judy's very interesting because um, nearly it was a consensus, probably like 70% of uh, fantasy players thought he had a bad season last year. Um, because 70% of fantasy uh, players apparently don't know how to look at stats um, because he had an excellent year. Um, he had a terrible catch rate, which isn't something that you should ever worry about with uh, Jerry Judy. And if you watched the games, you knew that was more of a quarterback thing. Um, but yeah, so it feels like you're getting load balled because I think the other 30% of the world um, realizes like, oh crap, he was really good last year. I should try to get him. Um, and then he was coming off an injury. So people are definitely trying to lowball you. Um, why they're waiting till week eight when he's returning from injuries and probably not very smart. They should have made that move earlier in the year when you actually, you know, could have used the player in his place. Um, so I'd say those are my general opinions and thoughts on the Jerry Judy topic. Yeah, I mean. I was even one that said right after he got hurt was we didn't know how long this injury was going to put him out. You know, was it going to put him out for half the season or four weeks? I mean, we're coming on, he's going to miss a full six weeks, basically coming back in week eight after going out in week one. Uh, but I said at the time, like if you can get out from him for basically any sort of pivot, that's 80 to 90% what he's worth at the point when he got hurt, that was worth it. And I think that just speaks to the fact that he's not in a range where you really decipher his profile over many, many others that are around him. I mean, even before we started the show, we're going through, who do you prefer, you know, Judy or the wide receiver one next year, the wide receiver two next year, Shane threw out a couple names. I mean, you put him in the same range as other guys, like, you know, truthfully, is he better than, can you for sure say he is better than like Rashad Bateman or Devonte Smith? Uh, but I tend to think he's overvalued. And part of that is that, He's missed all this time. He hasn't had six weeks to maybe not blow up, right? There's been guys in the same range as Judy that haven't been great for the first six or seven weeks. And guess what? We don't value those guys as high because they're not doing anything right now. He's like got this benefit where he hasn't pissed people off over the first seven weeks right. other than getting hurt. So we value him now higher because there's like this excitement that he's coming mm. back. Here, what's your thoughts, yeah. Clay? I like Judy. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think he's a uh, think he's an awesome route runner. He had a lot of air yards last year. Um, just getting tons of targets. I mean, and you, you can tell he's a stud, right? But this one. So Elijah Moore and a early twenty two second or Judy. I had to take my glasses off for that one. Um, that's Judy quite easily for me. Elijah Moore. I you know look, we all love the prospect, uh, the pros prospect, whatever the word is, profile coming out of college, right? Um, loved it. Um, but we're seven weeks in, we haven't seen anything from him. I'm already to the point where, all right, your rookie season's looking like it's going to be pretty bad, which is generally a bad indicator for the rest of your career. Uh, Judy had an excellent rookie season. I don't care about a second in these terms. So I'll go Judy. I think to do a deal like that, I need a higher leverage pick coming back besides a second. Yep. But I'd be all about a Jerry Judy for a first plus Elijah Moore because it's a 70, 30 shot that Elijah Moore might be better than Jerry Judy in two years. It's still in the range of outcomes. And I get the first, I mean, if, if I whiff and Elijah Moore is a complete dud, if he's Jalen Rager, I still have a first. So I think that's the kind of price point that would make me intrigued to move off a guy like Judy. So what about uh Judy or David Montgomery? Judy. <sighs> yeah. Uh, Judy. I was a big Monty guy, but he's not playing for another couple of weeks anyway. So I can't even give you the whole, well, I need to win now and I need production now because I'm not going to get it from Montgomery for at least another week or so. And uh, who knows once he comes back, if Khalil Herbert hasn't forced his way into some kind of a uh, timeshare there. We've seen the time of it being, I can count on him for 22 touches a game is done. I mean, I just may never come back because he's had some injuries and uh, yeah, I think I just want to get out at Monty if I can get that. 
What about Terrace Marshall and let's say you knew it was the one eleven or Judy? I think I think I will lean I will lean the the Marshall and the one eleven side on that because I think I'm getting it's right on the fringe right on the fringe but I think I'm getting enough I'm basically getting two shots and I don't think Judy ever gets into you know difference making range shout out to ray garvin he keeps telling me jerry judy stefan diggs we're gonna see it in like four or four years when he gets into a better situation so if he's right then yeah that's a terrible trade if trade was actually offered to me i would probably not take it um i don't know how i feel about that in about six months but right now i wouldn't take it um i feel like i could get that for judy in a few weeks um if i wanted to 